Funko's a big tease. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you're there, Sai. You get the right time. We got an all time line. Uncle's hot toys and John don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, that's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you travel walls, we are together. Yes. So today we all expected for Funko to drop the new Snoop Dogg Pops. And guess what? Did you just say Snoop Dogg Pops? New Snoop Dogg Pops. It's yeah, Snoop Dogg. Why wouldn't you just say Snoop Dogg? What do you mean? You said it really weird. I said Snoop Dogg. Yes, it's Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop Dogg? I'm saying Snoop Dogg. <laughs> what? It sounds f***ed up. No, it doesn't. You say it like... <laughs> like... Someone's grandma would say it. <laughs> we'll talk about this and more, but first, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. That helps this channel in a really big way, so don't forget to do that before you leave. By the way, it only takes like half a second, so I don't know what you're doing watching this video and not hitting like. What would Snoop Dogg say to them if they didn't hit subscribe and like? You're, you're a, a bit faux shizzle. You're a bitch faux shizzle. No, a bizzle faux shizzle. You're a bizzle faux shizzle. Let me do this. This video is gonna be crazy. All right, for those who do not know, Snoop Dogg is a rapper. Who are you saying that to? No, I'm just letting people know in case they didn't know. I just wanted everybody to be aware of what we're talking about here. How you doing, hon? Good, how are you? I'm okay. I have a really quick question for you. Who is Snoop Dogg? He's about my age, he's a rapper, and he smokes a lot of weed. Okay, thank you very much. My dad knows who Snoop Dogg is. Okay, there could be somebody watching right now who doesn't know who Snoop Dogg is. Should I call my grandmother? I'm here, Heather. Okay, who is Snoop Dogg? Snoop Dogg is an entertainer. Uh, do you know what kind of entertainer? No. Oh, no. I thought he was, I thought he was a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say to Let's that? Let's see if my grandma beat your grandma. <laughs> Hey, Grandma. I'm going to ask you a question, and I just want to know your answer to it. Okay, I'll try. Do you know who Snoop Dogg is? Snoop Dogg? Yeah, he's, he's, on, he's on TV. He um, sings, doesn't he sing? Okay, you're getting close. Uh, he's an entertainer. That's all I guess I know. That's all you know? Yeah. Okay, you were close, but I don't think you got the cigar. So his he, he's a rapper. Oh. I knew he was a singer. Didn't realize a rapper, you know. I just I just lost one hundred and fifty dollars to Heather. Oh my goodness. I know. I lost a lot of money here. Why didn't you call me before you <laughs> No, I'm, I'm I'm kidding. There's no there's no bet. I'm not into rapping. <laughs> <laughs> You're not? I'm surprised to hear that. He hangs out with Martha Stewart. Yeah. He even was on her cooking show and everything. You're right. Yep. Well, it turns out that our grandmas don't know who Snoop Dogg is. And it also turns out that your grandma is a cheater because she wanted you to call her to tell her the answer before. <laughs> Listen, us gas, we win. It doesn't matter what it takes. The Dog House opened today, and the Dog House is a retail store opened by Snoop Dogg, the rapper slash entertainer, if you didn't know. He's also friends with Martha Stewart. There were 5K limited Funko Pops and 15K limited Funko Pops, if we're even going to call them limited. I, do we call is them limited? 15K limited? No, it's not limited. Like, I wish that we knew, like, what Funko's baseline is. So we knew if 15K is limited yeah, it's or, not, yeah. It's not. And Snoop Dogg actually showed up! How amazing is that? Um, it f sucks. I would have dropped it like it's hot for him. We're big YouTube stars. We will meet him one day, just like Wasatch Pop. Did you see Wasatch Pop down there? Yes, I did. He's it got was his so camera fancy. in hand. He's got, like, a big long resume now. He's done all this cool shit, and on <laughs> top of it, He's met Snoop Dogg. I didn't know where you're going with that. You said big long. I didn't know where that was going. Oh, I can tell you where it's going. You want me to? Well, how do you know that about Wasatch? No, I was talking about he has a big long resume. Whoa, like, okay. Uh, like Tommy Lee. The resume. Okay. Anyway. God. So the dog house is like a Funko Pop shop. There's like Funko Pops everywhere. And a guy actually did a tour and it was posted on Funko social media. Did you see it? Yes, it did. It's really cool. The guy calls out 
everything. Funko Pop Sports. He just yells at it and he keeps saying things over and over again. It's like it never ends. Basketball! All the Funko Pops, football, rap, music, classic music, basketball, football. Why'd they put that guy behind the camera? Who is this guy? Is he new Funko social media? Because this is a problem. I sort of hope so because I want to see more of this. Look like a really cool shop. I'm very excited about this. Funko does a really great job with all of their stores and all of their displays, even at conventions and stuff. I saw that they had like a ginormous Snoop Dogg in that store. And an Undertaker. Did you see that? Uh, yeah. And Tupac. Tupac, Undertaker, Snoop Dogg. Yeah! Did you see that they had three liters? They yes, had they juggernauts. Did. I think they had jugger. Who did they have? No, you know what? They didn't have a juggernaut. I need a I need a bottle. Where's the other bottle? I'll use this one. They got three liters. Hey! So they had a Wampa, they had Maleficent, they had Iron Giant, and they had Baby. Hey! Are they behind, like, a fridge glass? That's what it looks like. That's cool. It is cool. So the new Snoop Dogg Funko Pops were supposed to drop today, but instead we got the Tapatio Man. They weren't supposed to drop. People were thinking they were dropping. We expected them to drop. You expected them to no, drop. No, the doghouse was opening today. I, listen, everybody was, like, saying that they were dropping. Of and course. I, listen, I asked people, how did you know? They said, well, it hasn't been confirmed, but it's been heavily teased. And I'm like, you can't just say that it's going to drop. Okay, they're opening the house of Snoop Dogg. It's the dog house. Thank okay, you. they're opening the dog house today. Don't you expect that they will put the Funko Pops up online because they're selling them inside the store? When has Funko ever done anything right? That's a valid point. I, I didn't even think of it that way. You're right. Okay, so we have two 15K count pops, which is the purple jersey Lakers and the black jersey Steelers. But then we have two really confusing ones. These seem to be in-store only, although I wouldn't be surprised if at some point a small amount went up online. There's a yellow Lakers jersey and a white Steelers jersey. And they both look like 3,000 to me. Some people are saying both are 5,000. Some people are saying one's 5,000 and one's 3,000. Okay. So we're not entirely sure. We've spoken with quite a few people about this and they're not sure either. <laughs> okay, so your jury is still out. If you know, let us know in the comment section down below. Okay, Lakers. so both 15Ks are supposed to go up on Funko Shop. Yes, they're both currently there and they have like a notify me button or coming soon or something. Okay, well that's great. So you'll have your chance at Snoop Dogg Funko Pops if you want them. For those who could not make it, will now have their chance to buy these Snoop Dogg Funko Pops from Funko Shop hopefully very soon. They tease the f out of us today. The Funko Pop that went up in the place of the Snoop Dogg Funko Pops was Tapa... is it Tio Man? <laughs> Tapa Tio Man Diamond Edition. Okay, there you go. This pop is forever going to be like a sore spot for everybody because people were expecting Snoop Dogg, but then this guy shows up, so everybody's mad at this guy, even though he didn't do anything. So looking at all the Tapatio Man comments on diss trackers, it looks like a lot of people on one post are saying they rather have the Tapatio guy instead of Snoop. And then on another post that's exactly the same picture of the Tapatio guy, people are asking where Snoop? That's not Snoop, Snoop a loop. I don't know what that means. Tio Snoop, we need Snoopy. I just came here for where's the Snoop comments. Yeah, so. It's like the algorithm put that one picture up for Tapatio fans, and then the other picture was yes. put up for Snoop fans. Exactly. So I have no idea what Tapatio man is. He's the hot sauce guy, Chris. Oh, he's a hot sauce guy. Did you think he was a comedian like Snoop Dogg? I actually really did think he was a comedian. <laughs> It sounds so stupid, but I did. <laughs> Me and your grandma got a lot in common. You really do. All right, so the highlights from today, they didn't drop the Funko Pops like they thought they were. That's not a highlight. That's a low light, but continue. They opened up the Snoop Dogg Dog House. They're selling three liter sodas in there, and I think that's pretty cool. And the Snoop Dogg Funko Pops that they're selling are pretty awesome, too. Yeah, they are. So I guess we'll find out sometime soon when they're going to be dropping these Snoop Dogg Funko Pops on Funko.com. You know they really tricked us today. They might dangle this along for a while. Just like Pietro. Where's Snoop Dogg? In other news, today, Pop News on Instagram with two W's posted that there's a Donald 
pop. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about this. Did they ever fix it? Nope, they have not. They kept it that way? It's been 12 hours and it still says Donald Oh my God, if you need a Funko news source who's gonna use the word inappropriately on one of their posts, these are the guys to follow. You know the funniest part about me looking this up right now is that my phone is currently at 69%. That's amazing. Okay, so I missed a call from my grandmother because my phone's on silent while we were recording, but she left me a voicemail. Okay. And we just had a conversation about Snoop Dogg. So this could literally be anything. Heather, who's the entertainer that wears a big clock around his neck? He's probably a rapper too. Is that Snoop Dogg or someone else? All right, so your grandmother got Snoop Dogg and Flavor Flav confused. So not too long ago, Heather and I went to Five and Below, and we picked up all these little minifigures, and we never got, hey, and we never got to show them. Put them on your side. Hey! I don't want yours over here. So I have Iron Spider, Wanda Maximoff, and Thor, and they all glow in the dark, and Heather has this dumb bull. I have a Thestral and I have a Hungarian Horntail Dragon. Honestly, I have so many like Harry, Ron, Hermione things that like, I get a little bit bored unless there's something really special about them now. So the Thestral is actually really cool looking. Oh my God. <laughs> so that's the Thestral and he actually looks really cool. Do you know what he is? I have no idea. It's a bony tail. I know that. Okay, so basically they like draw carriages and stuff, but most normal people cannot see them. You can only see him if you've witnessed a death. Wow, that's really crazy. Yeah, you know what? You know what's even crazier? Harry discovered this and he realized that he could see it because he watched his parents die. Oh my God, that's so morbid. It's really f dark. So what's this thing? That's a Hungarian horn tail. It's a dragon. Oh, okay. A Hungarian horn tail. He's a horny tail. That sounds like something that I would find on Urban Dictionary. Yeah. The Hungarian horny tail. So here are the three figures and they look awesome. These were $5 a piece at five and below. And uh, I just wanted to go on the dark ones. I think they had non-glows. All right, there they are. And Thor glows okay. And Spider-Man really doesn't glow much at all. But the Wanda looks awesome. He has a gauntlet in his hand that glows. Yeah, it does. It glows a bit. Yeah. His eyes are supposed to glow as well, but... They are? Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, they... Oh, yeah. They don't really. Yeah. That gauntlet glows, though. And Wanda's glow is amazing. So, if you want to buy these glows, I would recommend highly to buy the Wanda over the others. But this isn't the only reason why I wanted to turn the lights down low, Heather. We can't do that on YouTube. No, I want to show off our new Blacklight Gasly, which is going to be sold this Monday, January the 9th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And I figured this would be the perfect time to glow him up. Oh yeah, look at that glow. And you get a glow all the way around back. Look at that booty. Oh yeah, this guy is amazing. You're gonna love him so much. He looks even better in person and he will look great with the rest of your black light figures and Funko Pops and everything else. You're gonna love this guy in hand and his box is even better. Make sure you sign up for our newsletter at mischieftoys.com. So this is what he looks like outside of the black light and he is amazing. We love the detail on him. He's so cool. Look at him. He has a very comic booky look, which is exactly what we wanted to go for. And he is now becoming quickly my favorite Ghastly yet. But we have so much more coming your way. This Monday is just the beginning of what we're gonna do this year in 2023. It's gonna be one stellar year, so you better get yours before you lose out. Especially if you're a black light hoe like Chris. So what do you think about the doghouse and all those new Snoop Dogg Funko Pops? Also, how about all this stuff and how about this black light ghastly? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. Don't forget, head over to poppinofftoys.com and use promo code GASTLECAST to get 10% off of your entire order. That's right, you can get 10% off of everything in your cart and you don't want to miss out on that. Use GASTLECAST to get 10% off over at poppinofftoys.com. And recently, they just put up all their 50th anniversary Disney stuff up for pre-order. So go and buy yours today. Promo code GASTLECAST for 10% off. And level four patrons on our Patreon get 15% off at patreon.com slash GASTLECAST. If you'd like to support this channel, head over to patreon.com slash GASTLECAST to learn more. And speaking of Patreon, we like to thank 10 of our patrons in every single video, and we appreciate all of our patrons that support us. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Richard Guider, Matthew Mazzi, Franchise Kicks, Mikey O, Scott Fulmer, Brandon Statton, David Chung, 
Jared Black, Nick Filet, and Elizabeth Orison Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Another big shout out to all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. And thank you for staying until the very end of the video. It is a huge support to us and we appreciate it. Remember as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.